it's your crazy fangirl shiny hope you guys are having an amazing day so today we are going to be reacting to the mandalorian uh episode 6 chapter 22 guns for hire so uh, obviously as you guys know this uh reaction is coming out a little bit later than usual obviously because yesterday i was busy with family coming over my sister came over with a partner so that was nice and also i actually wasn't feeling too well as well so i was like oh, i don't want that to affect the video feeling much better now so uh in a much hyped mood to watch this episode so i have heard mixed reactions to the episode um thankfully i haven't seen much i have may have seen a spoiler but oh well like that's the internet what am i what are you gonna do <laughs> So yeah, um, that's fine though. We're just gonna go straight into this. Uh, I don't know much about it though. I don't know what's gonna happen. So let's just jump straight into it. But before that, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed this video. But also keep up to date with all my other reactions to more TV shows, movies, and video games. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. I did not expect this opening, but oh well. This is cool though. Oh my god. I forget how big the ships are. They're so huge. We are not inferior, Oh! We are Mandalorian. And sadly. Oh, these guys! You see, we were already hired by a certain Mon Calamari viceroy has reason to believe you absconded with us. No, I won't go. I won't go. We love each other. Oh. Oh, no. I'm sad. I can't destroy everything I've built for a childish flame. Oh. I thought Mandalorians were honourable. We are here. All it takes is a few credits. God damn, dude. I'm just trusting the process here. This is very cool though, because I think Bryce Dallas Howard's doing this one, so. Welcome to Plasia 15, the Outer Rim's only remaining direct democracy. You've been assigned a docking slip. You will be guided on the assigned path. Engaging Oh. Oh, never mind. <laughs> That's all. Mm. Your presence has been requested by the leadership of the planetary democracy. This is not a request. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, great. I haven't even heard of it. Do you think we're going to have to blast our way out of here? We'll find out. <laughs> Let's hope not. It looks very, um, high tech. Oh, they look so good. Come. Yeah, this is what I saw. <laughs> On the internet. Oh, Jack Black and Lizzo. Who would have thought? <laughs> I love it, though. My family served as nobility since it was originally settled, and we fell in love. We fell in love. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I love it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, Gregor's like, get up, I did. <laughs> but because of this, all of our resources go to growth and the people. I'd like to speak to these privateers. That can be arranged. You think. What makes you think that? The planet's Imperial droids were reprogrammed for peace. Oh, I love Lizard's costume. Sorry, I'm zoned out because she just looks so beautiful. What do you think? You had me at battle droids. <laughs> of course, Din's hatred for droids still exists. Scheduled to be Is that Christopher Lloyd? Why not turn them all off? Who's in charge of that? I know. I am. Seems like the easiest thing to do. Feel safe to vote it against any interruption in joint services. We can't live without a society would collapse. Then what do you want from us? I mean, it's basically like real life for the internet. <laughs> See what happens when you rely on droids. Are you taking this personally? <laughs> just pointing it out. <laughs> Let's just finish this so we can be on our way. I won't lie. I know people are against it, but you know. Me being me, I want romance, and I don't mind bo and Din getting together. I'll go into that more later. On behalf of the Duchess and Captain Bombardier to help you with your droid problem. They don't care. Hello? I am Mandalorian Din Djarin, friend of Ugnat Quill. 
You will answer our questions and help us with our task. I have spoken. Yeah! <laughs> yes! Yes, Queen! <laughs> you may not have heard the news down here, but your droids are wreaking havoc in the- I assure you, the droids are not malfunctioning. It's we would appreciate your help. Yeah, Din knows how to talk to them. Din's a really good speaker. I think Bo has a bit to learn in that regard. I've spent time with Ugnaughts. Mm. There's a particular way to communicate with them. Oh, this is a restricted area. Oh my god, it's been so long! <laughs> Was warfare. I thought they were just checked out. They were, yeah. Oh, Din! Din does not mind pissing them off. <laughs> Oh! Jesus, Din. God, he's fast. Like I said, best of the furious. Watch out! Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> oh, I love this. Go get him. Oh, God, Din. Oh, my God. Oh, that was so good. That reminds me so much of like the OG movies. Oh my god. What's a spark pad? The resistor. Sounds like a droid bar. You kicking droids is really not helpful. I figured out which one was malfunctioning, didn't I? I know, that's so true, Bar. Just accept it. We are in full compliance with planetary dialogue. No. If you don't start answering questions, I'll yank your memory circuit and dissect it back at the lab. Jesus, Din. Chill! <laughs> he really doesn't like Troy. Their behavior is programmed. All they do is reason. They're also programmed not to harm organics. How's that going? Organics created us. It's the least we can do. Aww! <laughs> Aww! Come on, Din. You gotta be empathetic with that. Seems the malfunctioning droids all imbibed from the same batch of Nepenthe. So there's one specific batch? <laughs> That's so cool! I love that they kept it! <laughs> Jesus! Oh! They're still active. Mm hmm. Same as our. It's writing. Rotate the perspective. Oh! That's cool! Oh my god. Is that unusual? It's illegal. There's no record of this transaction on the government registry. Oh! Our head of security. Commissioner Hellgate. Damn, okay. That's why he wouldn't push this fail safe then. Ah, that would make sense. Everyone freeze! If I trigger this fail safe, it will convert the planet's docile workforce. Yeah, back to battle droids. Port Democritus. Count Dooku was a visionary. He was cut short in his prime by the Jedi forces. Oh! What the hell? Count Dooku named Drunk? Oh my god. Politics. <laughs> I grant you audience with our deployment of Mandalorian privateers. Yay! <laughs> it's a, actually a key. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like it. I really like it. I don't know why people made such a fuss. Do you accept my challenge? Oh, she looks so cool. I do. Get him, Burr! Well, that was easy. <laughs> no, not yet. Oh, okay. Oh, oh! Come on, Burr! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, nice! Do you yield? Enough Mandalorian, what has the 
hands with their own hands. Oh, she actually doesn't want to kill Din! Maybe at one point she did, but... I don't know, that's nice that she doesn't want to. A misguided zealot possesses the blade. One, I might add, who has not one drop of Mandalorian blood in his veins. A boy? I will kill him. He is every bit the Mandalorian that they were. Oh! Girl! Then she shall have it. What? This belongs to you. Oh! And this blade was taken from me. Oh. She defeated the enemy that defeated me. Ah, so like an Elder One sort of thing. I return this blade to its rightful owner. Oh! 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 Sig! Okay, so I'm just gonna say it. I really liked this episode. I I saw so many people being like, oh, this ruins the entire season. This, like, all this stuff. It wasn't even that bad. I loved it so much. I think it really reminded me of, like, just George so much. Like, Bryce Dallas Howard brought it so much back to, like, what it was like in Attack of the Clones and all that stuff. Like, the bright colours, um, the, these, like, two, like, royals, the Duchess and, <laughs> and Jack Black. I don't even know what that guy's name is. I just saw Jack Black and I was just like, you know what, what, whatever. And just, like, oh, like, the whole thing with the droids, I loved it. And just the chemistry between Pedro and Katie as Din and Bo, so good. Um, but also just, like, the character development moments between them was so good. And also even that last bit. Okay, now, I know that last week, and even just every, like, all the time I've even been saying, I want a battle between them to get the Darksaber, but then I never thought about it until then. Someone would have to die. And number one, no one would want to see Bo die like that, especially with how long she's been in the series. Two... No one wants to see Din die, and then what's gonna happen to Grover? He's just gonna fly away. <laughs> so, I I actually really like this way that they've dealt with it. They could have written it in a bit of a way, I think, um, but I really like what they've done. With this episode, let's continue with this episode, then we'll talk more about it. Um, I really like the, the, <laughs> the investigator, sort of like, good cop, bad cop sort of vibe they were going for. Oh, it's so good. And again, it just reminds me of the Clone Wars and just the chases that they'd have in that. And it's just so good. I love that sort of vibe. And also, again, Bryce just brings so much of her own flair to it. Every episode I love is hers. So every time she wows me so thank you Bryce for making another amazing uh episode and then the whole thing with um Din and Berktan let's talk about that I know a lot of people have been saying no she doesn't need a man to like be more important and all this stuff and it's like dude but what if they just be a good couple together? I've been thinking about this for a while. I never brought it up because I know there's a few people in my comment section who probably wouldn't like it. But just, oh, I imagine the babies, guys. <laughs> I'm joking. But <laughs> I mean, me being the romantic that I am, I'm thinking about that. But the just the, the way that they work and they did it in this episode too, which makes it so much more pivotal. The fact that, like, they work so well together, like, she, it's almost like she's fire and he's water. Um, he's very much more the diplomat and the person who can speak better than she can. She's got the authority to be a good leader. And also, even the whole thing with the Darksaber, Din never wanted it. End of season two, he never wanted it. He was like, here, take it. And she was like, no, I need to fight you for it. And at that point, she didn't like Din. She was like, I'm really doing this to get Moff Gideon and get the Darksaber. She didn't give a shit about Din. And she was like, I will literally fight you to get the Darksaber. Now, though, it's very different because they've literally spent time together. She's gotten to know his family and him. And she realizes that, no, he's very much Mandalorian as much as she is. 
And that's so beautiful because it shows how much she's grown as well from the last season as well, from season two, where we had her being so mean to Boba as well, being a clone, the son of a clone, and, oh, well, the, you know, the main person who was used as the clone. So basically she was like, you're a clone. You don't care. You don't matter. You're not a. You're not a Mandalorian. And then she was mean to Din because, again, he wasn't Mandalorian. He was from Death Watch. But yet here she literally just shows how much she's grown. And this whole season as well. It's so good. And I know a lot of people have been complaining about Din, like being a bit of a side character. I won't disagree. He has been. But I feel like that's because, and I know it's a very sloppy way of doing it. Because no offense. The writing hasn't been amazing, but I feel like still, Din's story has ended. In a way, not fully, like obviously he's a very important character, but in terms of him being like the head of the show, I think he's sort of ended in a way. This is because um, I think I love the whole story with obviously him and Gru. They found each other and all that stuff, but um, I think the story ended because of what happened in um, Boba Fett. And again, this is for poor writing. They shouldn't have put it there. If they wanted a whole season of that, they could have done it, but they didn't. But I feel like he still is such an integral part to this show because he's so open to showing Bo-Katan all this stuff. And also even, like, you know, trying to find stuff about Mandalore. Obviously wanting to be back with his clan. As much as we don't want him to be and want him to, like, break free of that, I don't think Din's gonna do that. He's too... As beautiful as a quality it is, he's so loyal to his clan, he would never do that. And that's why he's such a pivotal part with Bo's story. And I love that so much. Um, and I, I don't know, I find it so beautiful that together they're, like, you know, learning stuff about each other's cultures. Like, she's opening up to him. The one thing, though, I wish is that they freaking speak about Satine. I don't know why they're never bringing her up. Like, please bring her up. She literally was such a pivotal part of the Clone Wars. Like, just say her name. <laughs> anyway, I actually really like it. I feel like, for me, I know some people won't, but I don't know, for me, the story has come together quite a bit, and I really enjoyed this episode, and I cannot wait for the, I think it's a two-part finale. Um, so... I am super excited for that. I am, like, high-keyed, like, really excited for it, honestly. And again, with everyone saying what they were saying on the internet, I was like, oh my god, this episode had to be so horrible for the stuff that I saw. I loved it. Again, <laughs> seeing Lizzo and Jack Black, I, I know that they're, like, cameos. And also Christopher Lloyd, oh my god. They're seen as cameos. I don't know why, I... I, I don't know why. It just worked so well. And again, with Lizzo and Jack Black, it just felt, again, it reminded me so much of Clone Wars and just, like, all the senators and how, like, ridiculous they are and how, like, um, flamboyant and over the top it is with, like, how George did everything too. I, I loved it. I honestly really enjoyed it. So thank you guys so much for watching this uh, reaction um, for The Mandalorian Episode 6, uh, uh, Guns for Hire. I honestly, I really enjoyed it. I, again, like, I can't say it enough. I think the story is coming together slowly. And again, people were saying, like, what was the point of this episode? It's like, dude, they literally were looking for Mandalorians. That was, that was what they said last episode. So I think it works well. So yeah, I'm excited to see, like, what's the next move, whether they go to Mandalore or if they're going to find more Mandalorians. And if... Please, I literally just want to see it. Please end it with us seeing Moff Gideon, at least. Like, I want him to be the end. It's sort of like a bookend, like in season one, where we saw him and he was like, not dead and with the Darksaber. It's like, oh, I would really like to just see him at the end or something. Okay, so I'm going to end it here. But yeah, leave your thoughts down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of my thoughts. I don't mind. I would love to hear your guys' opinions. But anyway, I've got to run because <laughs> I've got some other stuff to do. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, we go out. Woo!